By the current looks of it, we might be just on the verge of breaking back into the NFT bull run. And this would be absolutely phenomenal. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a few indicators why I might believe that this could be the case. And also, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best upcoming NFT drops and projects that could give you the 5, 10, 20x on your initial investment if you manage to participate in the mint or even get a super duper great price in the after sale market. Hi guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Vilius and on this channel we talk about anything that has to do with metaverse, crypto gaming and also NFTs as these are the real money making opportunities in this market of 2021 and I believe is going to be the future. We're not in it for the 10, 20, 30% gains, we're in it for the actual life changing money making opportunities. And if this is of any interest to you, I'd really appreciate it if you could show some love, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy any of these sorts of videos and also comment down below if I miss any of the given drops and what are your opinion is on the current nft market as of right now and without further ado let's actually dive in why i actually believe that the nft market could be picking right back up and for this we're going to start off within dune analytics looking at the open sea volume right here we can see that on the 8th of december we saw a massive massive spike uh, in open sea volume and that last happened on the third and also the fourth the fifth of October. So it's been a while since we've hit these numbers in terms of open sea volume of approximately $150 million. And we're also constantly increasing in terms of users and traders on actual open sea. And obviously this is a very great indicator that a lot of people are shifting more of their focus towards NFTs again, as if we compare it to the crypto market right now, we can see that Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., they are somewhat consolidating as of right now. Now we all know the recent history of Bitcoin where it did uh, face a severe crash and it wasn't as uh, of a bullish November and December as we would like to expect it to be. Now, December could still go semi well, but in my opinion, we're gonna be more so moving towards January, February, March. That's where we see somewhat of an upswing again and potentially we'll see uh, the top out between May and also March, but a lot of experts are still indifferent about this particular cycle and we're just pretty much sure that it's going to be a extended cycle but what you see in most cases like this if bitcoin uh, or ethereum are consolidating you'll see a lot of people still trying to make money still trying to move profits as we've seen initially in august september that's where the real nft bull market was in this year as of recently uh, you'll see a lot of people reshifting their investments reshifting their focus towards the NFT market as that is where still the market is going to get hot, get cooking, um, and that could revitalize also crypto gaming and a few other aspects within the market because people are still going to be looking into ways to make money within this market, whether it's bearish or bullish. Now, also, we talked in the previous video that there were a lot of indicators also pointing and putting more eyes on the actual NFT market with some CryptoPunks spiking in volume again. Obviously, we had a lot of Bored Ape Yacht Club and Mutant Ape Yacht Club news, uh, such as a lot more influencers getting on the hype train uh, with Post Malone, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, you also had a few more NBA stars using this as profile picture. You obviously had DJ Khaled. So a lot of people getting into this and also the whole Adidas and Bored Ape Yacht Club partnership, which in my opinion was an absolutely massive thing. And then aside from that we also saw a few really decent projects be released in the month of november and early december we had uh, ape kids club we also had obviously sandbox pumping quite a bit uh with with a lot of land sales and property sales uh, really spiking it up with when we also had wizards and dragons game then we also had uh the clone x uh from artifact crypto bull society desperate ape wives slot nft a project that i mentioned in a few times within my previous videos when talking about nfts we also had doodles uh so we had a lot of different projects that really were taking off and also on top of that we also had some massive massive land sales during the start of December leading up and afterwards of the alpha launch of Sandbox right here. As we can see by this article right here, popular metaverse altcoin see $100 million worth of virtual real estate sales in one week. And that was just shortly after the alpha pass was released for Sandbox, one of the biggest metaverse crypto games out there. This is also a topic that we covered in the actual Sandbox video. So if you're curious about this, definitely do check it out. So those are a lot of factors that are contributing to the NFT market, getting a lot more eyes and if we can continue seeing actually more interesting drops pumping out throughout December and a lot more of the money from the crypto market being shifted towards the NFT market, that's when I do really do believe we could see a massive run up in NFT volume in 
short future especially we could be seeing a very very bullish nft december now also a very important part of this video is obviously we're going to take a look at some of the most interesting drops for december now i covered this in our separate video uh, a previous nft video these are also going to be some additional drops to the ones that i mentioned so these are all going to be some fantastic options for you guys to get into if you guys manage to get your hands on the whitelist or the public sale so the projects that i mentioned in the previous video will not be featured in this one and this is somewhat of an extended list and we're going to start off with the project digital animals the pre-sale is starting in exactly three days and this is an absolutely mind-blowing nft project in my opinion 8888 unique animals generative art by igor digital animals need digital souls this in my opinion is absolutely insane artwork uh very very clean this one is going to be a very cool project in my opinion if we just simply scroll to the website these guys are very very capable uh, of doing some fantastic work as we can see right here and later they're also going to be working on the actual game so that's going to be a huge utility case contributing to this overall project uh, and here are some overviews of what the artwork can actually look like what you can expect and uh, this is something that we haven't really seen before but in my opinion this is going to be a very cool project one that i am definitely very very excited for and what i also like to see is that uh the actual creator the designer is actually docs you can see igor is a digital artist with more than 12 years of experience he is experimenting with real physical phenomena synthesizing materials and catching dispersion he's the owner of gstudio.com and the design director for forestall uh, and all his socials will be left down below uh, if you actually want to check out this particular project and on top of that you have the whole entire team uh, display right here so it's a pretty big team uh, and the roadmap you'll have obviously the most important collection dropping then you'll have uh, the soul evolution merging of souls the ambitious plan uh, it's a little bit difficult to read they could have done that better on the website uh, let's see plan that we want to implement in the near future then they will be working on the game collaboration community uh, then they'll be introducing it to the metaverse the soul rebirth and also future drops so they do have quite a bit planned for the actual roadmap right here and uh, they're still relatively small uh, if you talk about actual hyped projects uh, in terms of their twitter size with only 6276 followers and in my opinion this is going to be a pretty insane project uh, there is no exact date yet uh, when the pre-sale and also live sale will actually be happening but if you guys are interested i'll definitely keep you guys updated on this particular drop now moving on this is a drop that is coming fairly quickly this is going to be on the 12th and 13th of december the 12th being the actual pre-sale for the whitelist members and 13th the actual public sale there's going to be 3333 genetically modified unique beasts on a mission to conquer planet mix so it's going to be an immutable x drop so therefore you're not going to be paying extra open sea fees and also additional gas fees uh, so it's going to be in entirely free processing fees which is always fantastic to see it's a lot easier for the investor and a lot of these investment opportunities are always fantastic now this just gives me a vibe of actual cyber Kongs. obviously we've seen a lot of uh, additional projects that have been been based uh, on, on cyber kongs in the past but this could be uh, the next upcoming project in my opinion that could be pretty pretty cool to actually keep your eyes out for this is definitely a project i'm going to be uh, trying to get in the mint on there's a quick brief overview of the actual artwork that we can see right here uh, here's again the confirmation for the exact dates uh, the whitelist pre-sale will be at 0 0.066 eth and 008 eth will be for the public sale here you can see a rough look at the actual roadmap and then you'll additionally have the roadmap 2.0 uh, so you'll also additionally be able to fuse two different kongs uh into one and then burn them and to create a much much bigger kong uh, which is going to be definitely interesting uh, so very cool ideas that they have planned right here and if you guys are curious and looking into this project a little bit more deeper definitely check out the links down below and these are also the founders and creators of this project displayed doxed with linkedin and also twitter moving on to the next project this project i have covered in two different videos in the past and i do believe a lot of influencers have covered this particular project as well now this is no other project than hate piece this has to be probably the most high project uh, for december now there still hasn't been a concrete a release date it is still yet left on december 2021 this is a fully 3d and built to unite uh, ape metaverse now this could be one of the biggest drops of this year in my opinion because just look at this absolutely mind-blowing art right here this these guys are stepping it up crazy I, I haven't seen anything like i do believe with the amount of followers this project has uh this could be a project that you could see uh, making some astronomical moves in terms of actual growth this could be a project that you could see anywhere between three to eight eth uh, after drop in my opinion so if you manage to get your hands on this this could be an absolutely fantastic drop now some comparable drops would be uh mechaverse that did initially pump up to eight 
ETH, but then it dropped after the initial reveal. So that's something to be aware of. This, in my opinion, won't necessarily happen uh, as the artwork is going to be a lot better than Mechaverse as Mechaverse uh, did flop it a little bit with the actual background selection. And this artwork is a lot cleaner uh, and a lot, a lot better. So this is going to be a very, very hype drop that I'm going to be trying my very best to get my hands on. It's going to be tricky. Uh, maybe going to try on the aftermarket afterwards and also artifact. Uh, the whole clone drop could be a similar drop as well. And with Hate Piece, I definitely believe we're going to be seeing somewhat of a Dutch auction sale with the amount of hype that they're going to be getting. I do believe they're going to have a relatively steep and hefty price per actual mint, uh, as we also saw with Artifact and other drops in the past. This is going to be an 8K uh, next generation high fashion ape. So there's going to be 8,000 total apes right here. Now for this particular project, we're still waiting for the release date and also the exact mint price. But once I know more, I'm definitely going to give you guys another update on the YouTube channel. And here's a quick roadmap teaser. Phase one in the beginning, a new dimension, first drop, music to hape two. Then you got the hape machine at phase two. Then you got the second drops, special collections and simian engineering. Then last but not least, currently what they have on their Outlook, Phase 3, the Hape Walk, Clothing Collabs, Hape Culture, and Runway to Fame. What I really like about Hape Beast is they're really one of the front runners in terms of cross-collabing, also NFTs, clothing, and hype in one. So this is definitely going to be interesting to see what kind of clothing impact this is going to have on the whole fashion industry as Hate Beast is definitely one of the biggest projects. And if anyone can do it, it's going to be Hate Beast and or Board Ape Yacht Club as of right now. And these guys are definitely very, very hyped. If any new updates do come up, I will be the first one to actually hope and inform you. And here is their massive, massive team that they have right here. All of them also uh, with their personal Twitter accounts, except the actual moderators, which is a massive, massive moderation team. Next up, this is also a project that we covered in previous videos. It is going to be NanoPass. Just a little bit of an update where we're currently looking with this particular project with 53,400 followers already. They're releasing more and more updates uh, in terms of the actual project. By now, they've also released a lot more of the artwork right here. As we can see, the space station arch type, in my opinion, this is absolutely mind-blowing art. I absolutely love the land plots that they managed to create uh, and that they were revealing slowly but surely. Another absolutely mind-blowing piece right here. Uh, we have a lot to work with and they're also going to be releasing uh, multiple drops so not only the land plots but the actual nfts afterwards which are going to look somewhat like these characters right here and in my opinion this is some fantastic art they're combining it in a really really nice fashion and they finally managed to announce when the public sale will actually take place the public sale will actually take place mid-december so we still probably going to be uh the exact date announced within the next few days uh, and the price point will be 0 0.0888 ethereum and you're going to have a 5,555 total unique one of one NFTs with only a total of 1,000 nano passes available for the actual public offering. And in terms of the arch types, we have five different arch types that will be available. They're going to be uh, the Cyberpunk and each nano passes or early access pass that doubles as a plot in the virtual nanoverse, which is absolutely cool in my opinion. Then you have each pass is procedurally generated from a base set of 22 unique and animated assets, passive grant, weekly black boxes. And also owning a pass guarantees an allocation in the private presale for the phase two of the larger project, which we will have internally dubbed Project Subnet, which is going to be very interesting. And you can also click to expand to see a little bit more in detail. Uh, so this is the cyberpunk version. Then you have the Easter gem. You also have the space station. You have the underworld and you also have fantasy. I'd say my favorite is Easter gem. I really like uh, the Japanese style and look of things. Absolutely insane. And also I mentioned passes grant weekly black boxes. What is a black box? Here you can see each nano pass will generate a weekly black box which may contain a valuable loot. This loot may contain physical goods, other popular NFTs, or donation to a charitable cause. The possibilities are limited only by your imagination as it will be the community that decides what they are. Black boxes will be funded through the community vault, which will receive 7.5% of all secondary market royalties. Black boxes can be claimed from your owner's portal on our own website after logging in with your MetaMask. And the roadmap right here, passes will be available for roadmap. And here you can see the overall roadmap for this actual project in detail on the website right here, uh, which I am very, very excited on. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite projects that is going to be dropping in this month. Very excited for this one. And let's move on to the very last project that I'll be covering within this video. And this one is no other than Ren Goku Legends. This is a collection of 8,787 Samurais that will be dropping only in January. Yes, not in December as of right now. But I wanted to bring it to you guys before any other influencer could. And this project is absolutely insane, absolutely mind blowing. Just looking at the artwork right here, these guys are absolutely killing it. 
going to be some fantastic 3D generative art. So this is somewhat of a samurai look uh, to the actual Mechaverse drop, if I would like to compare it like that. And so they have an intro once you actually head onto the website. Absolutely mind-blowing. In my opinion, a very cool introduction to the actual project, showing a lot of uh, details towards their actual design. A very cool way to introduce and structure your actual website. There you can scroll to continue to get a little bit more information. There's a little bit more information about the story of the whole entire project. But as of yet, we still don't have a precise date when it's actually going to be minting, how much it's going to be minting for. But this is also going to project that I'm going to be covering a little bit further uh, throughout different videos, one of which we're actually getting closer to the actual drop. And that pretty much wraps up this video talking about the most high projects in the upcoming few weeks, days, and also months. And why I also believe that the NFT bull market could be slowly but surely coming back. I'm very, very excited to see where the NFT market will actually progress within the next few weeks. Let me know your guys' opinion on the actual NFT market right now. What do you think of these drops? Did I miss any important drops? And if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It would be always greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys back tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.